Ago Ebenezer, Henny Yehoa, Kaweba Shene, Nime, Name, Gadang Bife, Gana Man Bife, Yeheshiba, me, me, Nany, Nimi Banya de Omani, you can not jump of fair money one amelie, Kabashe, Henny Shene, Yasumona, Solomona, Koshiki Fona, Yabashe Grand Finale, you can not join to the paramount chief of the greater Accra region, His Excellency Ni Takite Kochu, the second, all chiefs, queen mothers and elders of the greater Accra region. Abola Bomo Anangwe will be fame. Mr. and Mrs. Francis Hansen, Mr. and Mrs. Papo, Mr. Samuel and Kelson, CEO of Co-Girl Clothing, all lovely staff, students and the headmistress of the Laboni Senior High School. All students and staff at the Happy Kids School to the University of Professional Studies, Accra. My friends and family, Makola Kekanishi will be fair. In mommy me, in papa me, you can know I join your fair. Thank you all so much for your love, your prayers, your votes, and your support. Elders, apostles, pastors, and all lovely members of the Apostolic Church nationwide, God richly bless you. To all ministers, MPs, and DCEs of the greater Accra region, thank you for your support and I'm super grateful. The moment we have been waiting for is finally here. The grand finale of Ghana's most beautiful 2024. Nika ke gama shikon gama no, belele gama shikon gama no. And that is the same way I'm going to show you some unique cultural heritage of the people of the greater Accra region, highlighting the essence of our strength and resilience. Ghana man be fain, Ghana will be fain. Bon in your fee, in your one me kebash grand finale ne, your fine na ya hishibami, ye yano, nye fall shiki, aha na mele, nye dialia, star seven one three star, one three hash, alo, obanyo download the MG reality app, ye o Google Play Store, alo o Apple App Store. Kindly keep voting for Namely, just as you have supported me and helped me come this far to the grand finale. Help me become Ghana's most beautiful 2024 by dialing the short code star 713 star 13 hash on all mobile networks or you can download the MG Reality app on your Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Ni wa yano, ni wa hamo fe ma na le akelele kama shipon, kama no. Ni mkoni mi yali ba fe wa fe wa no. Thank you, ni achum, mi danyesh. To my lovely supporters, Team Na Amelie, thank you. God bless you all for your votes and support. Greater Accra, there lived a tradition, one through which our identity was found and passed, protection assured and respect acquired. Our ancestors practiced this as a way to connect their children to their lineage, to their community and spiritual guardians. This tradition unspoken of is still prevalent in some parts of the greater Accra region, including Ada and beyond. To our ancestors, it was more than just a tradition. It was their identity and legacy. But in this modern era of us, what really is the essence of this tradition? Why do we need to tie ourselves to our ancestors with a tradition that does not just leave scars on our faces, but in our hearts and souls? Aren't our names enough? <laughs> 
Mene mi ufo, ni wohe, ni wompi, ite shikome, ite shenyo, ite shete, ite shetwe. Feina, shikmane, ufo, ni wohe, ni wobe kashita, aha nuchole, aimbi, ohe, che, no ye fo, ha. Ye feo na akwa. Inu cho. Ha, ni, no ni ngona njake. Wabawole namuali, eja kya namuali akya mene obana bifau, atana yowa wake shida, shida ni da, aha bo, si eshe nuko kome, inu chami ni, eshe nuko kome, eza kya wafu kusuwe, kusuwe ni kasi ni akya eza kya wabalekbe, hey, ipele ya biya, no no, pana stabi ni fu bifau fau da ba balekbe, yekbe manu, tabi akunde from some tradition. We need to do the tribal mark. Please, go please, please. Wait, go again. Oh, Chata. Oh, Chata, ba, ba, ba. Oh, oh. Hey, Chata, oh, oh. 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 Oh, Ni pako sa mwa. Bole. Kwa tu fe, nou titi. Nakaino, pepe, pepe, nakaino. O pomo de entande. Si, nou wabane, asa ni wake kousou an ashe. Oh, bo mi na ye ni anou nou nou kousou. Eh, omu zou bona eh. Omu zou fak fak pa. Oh, mwana bie mi yo. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, kwe ke yo fon ege. Oh, bekeh je mami, ona. Je, je. Je mami papa. Atang pa. Bekeh be for e. Atang pa. O fa ni he mon bile. No fe kuswa mi o. Bang bile gbe han. Oh, oh. Kwa be ni chui ya. Kwa be no ko fi mi. Na chui. Na chui ne je kwa kiole. Kuswa. Kwa ya kwa 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 kwa. Ten years later, Namwale grew into a young girl, but was faced with the effect of this harmful tradition. Imagine being seen not for who you are, but for the scars you carry. Imagine not being able to embrace your own beauty. Just like Namwali, people with these scars grow up battling shame, loss of confidence, depression, discrimination, isolation. We ask ourselves, why? Why do we bear these scars? Hoping for a miracle. In our schools, we feel the presence of these scars. In our workplaces, we feel how deep they have cut into our skin, into our souls and hearts, leaving them bleeding without season. Fifteen years later, this is the life of Namwali, who has grown into a young woman. Oh my God, Madam will be taking her document soon. Hmm. Good morning, what do you want here? Um, please, I'm here to apply for a job. Can I have a look at the CV? Wow, impressive. Follow me to the boss. Good morning, madam. A young lady just stopped by, hoping to apply for the front desk of this company. This is her CV. Okay. Wow. Good in communication. Software developer. Of course. Interesting. Yeah. Where is she? She's here.
applying for a front desk position in my company with these marks on your face? This is so scary! Huh. You know, mm -hmm. people like with these marks are believed to have some demonic spirits in them. Really? You want to work in my company with this your bad luck? No, never! You know, if you want some sort of a cleaning job or something, fine. But as a front desk person, no. Get out of here! I'm sorry, madam. Secretary, I'm sure she's out. Let me help you out. <coughs> please, let's go. Madam, please, can't you do anything? I'm sorry. <laughs> now, I'm Millie, and I'm a firstborn daughter from Abola in Gamashi. Achobo Namwali, me Malay. Bogba Loyagbe. A name of a reincarnator. So why these marks? Why such harmful tradition? These traditions do nothing but cause harm to us. Like infections, which includes tetanus. These affect the nervous system of the body and causes death. Even sepsis, where bacteria affect the bloodstreams of the body and organs of the body and causes death. In some instances, where it's performed on babies, oh, they die just from the shock of the cats because of this tradition. Why such harmful traditions? But change is possible. It starts from education. Let us educate our communities on the long-term effects of this tradition on its victims psychologically, medically, and even socially. Let us have conversations with our elders to teach them that tradition evolves and give them different perspectives on how we can identify ourselves and preserve our culture of people of the greater Accra region. Strict legislations, yes, strict legislations to be made to protect the rights of individuals and even children, such that no one is made to undergo this kind of tradition. Let us come together as one people to say no to tribal marks. This is not dismissing our culture and identity. This is protecting our future from such harmful tradition. Who said that without such harmful tradition, that our identity is lost and thrown into the museum of history? Who said our identity of the people of Greater Accra region is seen in our various diverse and beautiful culture and heritage, like our festivals, Tamahomawa, Asafotufiam, Kebabao Keke, Wanieni, our food delicacies, Komi, Keke Natakpako, Niko Nasabolai Kono Floya Fa, Ogbena. Our beautiful dances and music. Hey. the gome dance, a comical dance that also signifies that we are people from the greater Accra region. Chami Talogohu. Let me your phone, okay? This is what identifies us as people 
from the greater Accra region. But you know what? This was just a tip of the iceberg. Nihawaya. Abamli Amida. Abamli Amie. Abamli Amida. to the judges and take your comments on this beautiful performance on the effects of tribal mats. Judges, I'm coming to you, Jigodi. Okay, now, Mele, um, first, I'd like to say thank you very much for um, basically Thank you very much for shedding, once again, shedding light or basically exposing this topic. Because of what I get to do, I'm privileged to do on a day-to-day -day basis in coaching and consulting, I get to see this a lot. And this is the reality of the fact that young women are struggling today with what they had to deal with in the past. So this is a very important topic. So that's the first thing I wanted to talk about. What I liked about your performance was going through the chronology of life how it started from being a baby all the way till the person got a job. I've seen it affect people's confidence. I've seen it get them into depression. I've seen it actually happen. So looking at it, I think you brought the reality to bear. The other thing I liked about it was one, you brought the health impact, the medical impact, and the education impact. And more importantly, you brought the alternative identity in terms of the solution, bringing the solution to bear, and you delivered it well. So for me, I would say congratulations. All right, now moving on to Auntie Linda. Auntie Linda, can we have your comments? Now, Mele, congratulations. Thank you. Um, I think your delivery was good. Um, everything the body says, I agree, but there's also another side of it. Um, sometimes I feel that, as a people, we do not appreciate what we have. I mean, what you have talked about, some of them have health implications, no doubt, because of the way it's done. There's blood involved and all of that. That aside, sometimes we should appreciate our culture and own it. Not, not everything that we do is bad. Some have problems, no question about that. But I feel that sometimes we throw it away because somebody has told us this is better. You know, so I think that we should always have a balance. However, all the points you raised are on point. I think your de delivery was good. Um, so basically, you were narrating the story and then eventually you showed up. It was good. We just missed you along the way though. I felt that we should have seen more of you. But thank you very much. Thank you. 